Hey, soda operators. Have you ever spent the day climbing a mountain only to find that you can't get spotted because there's no cell service? Well, SodaMate can help solve that problem. SodaMate is a set of web and mobile tools for licensed amateur radio operators who are participating in SODA, the Summits on the Air program. If you don't know about SODA, it combines amateur radio with climbing mountains into a fun points-based award activity. Outside Magazine has a good introduction to SODA. Now, once you've experienced SODA, you'll eventually run into a problem. As a mountain peak activator, how do you get spotted by chasers back home? Now, there are several traditional methods. The first and most common is that you use your cell phone with an app like Soda Goat, but that requires cell data service, which often isn't available in the mountains. The second way is that you can use an SMS gateway, but again, even basic cell service might not be available. The third way is that you can use APRS, but this might re uh, require carrying multiple radios and it's often unreliable when you get away from urban areas. A fourth approach is to use satellite messaging, such as with a Garmin inReach uh, device and a subscription. But that can be expensive and it requires that you properly configure your settings for the SMS SOTA gateway and that you become pre-authorized by the SMS SOTA administrator. A fifth way that you can self-spot in the field is with RBN Hole, uh, but you have to know Morse code to use it and you have to remember to post an alert, a SOTA alert, ahead of time. And that requires internet access. And it requires that you know what time you're going to be at the peak, well, at least approximately. SOTA Mate, the sixth way, is a new way using specially encoded FT8 messages where you send your call sign over FT8 with a suffix that encodes your spotting data where hundreds of PSK reporter monitoring stations can then gateway your special suffix to the SodaMate server, which can then spot you. This video is a quick tutorial on how to get started. Another video will show how SodaMate works from a technical perspective. Now there is some one-time setup work that you have to do at home on a desktop computer before you go out into the field and activate. First, bring up your web browser and go to sodamatemat.com and find the register button in the upper left corner. For your username, make sure you use your call sign as the username. Fill in the rest of the information there and create an account. Next, go to the upper right corner and click on Preparation. That will provide some additional instructions of the three main steps that we're going to follow. The first is to click on the Regions button, where we're going to predefine and configure the regions in the SOTA program that we are able to visit and self-spot ourselves for. The reason why we have to predefine a set of regions is that our spotting will be a the suffix of an FT8 message. It's only four characters long maximum, and we can't possibly encode every summit in the world. So instead, we are predefining just the regions that we plan to activate to reduce the possible number of combinations that we have available to us in the field. So here I'm selecting three or four different regions and putting some notes in there. Those notes will be shown to you later. So if you don't know what uh, W6CT stands for, um, you have some notes that can be shown to yourself in the mobile app. Once we have completed our regions, we go to the menu again and select the next step, which is frequencies and modes. Here we can select whether we want single sideband, FM, and so on. We select a base frequency, the lowest frequency that we plan to operate on. Here we're doing the FM national calling frequency of 146520. Note that this is in kilohertz, not in megahertz, and that's a long story. But uh, anyway, you define a step size of, in this case for FM, 15 kilohertz steps for each channel. And we are saying that we are going to allow up to four steps in frequency uh, starting with that base frequency. So when we're in the field, we can select one of those four different FM frequencies.
Next, we're going to select some 20 meter uh, frequencies that we can select when we're in the field. Uh, this time we're using single sideband and we've selected the uh, lower bound of the US uh, single sideband for general class licensees and at uh, 14.225. We've selected a step size of three kilohertz and said we want to be able to select from at least 20 different steps when we're in the field of frequency. And again, we can give ourselves some notes there. And we'll do it one more time, let's say with the 40 uh, meter band. So we're going to select, uh, in this case, the uh, lower bound of the general class license band at 7.178. That includes the uh, sideband 3 uh, kilohertz offset. And again, we're selecting that we want to be able to choose from uh, 20 steps in frequency. All right, there are our frequency and mode uh, pre-configurations. And then finally, this is an optional step, we can define some commands. Uh, commands can be, for example, to send a um, an SMS message or to send an email, or in the future, there'll be additional commands that are available to you. So we can put in um, the command is send an SMS, put in a telephone number, and then put in some content. For example, saying, hey, everything's OK. Um, I'm just checking in. Uh, and then we give ourselves some notes. Uh, we could also uh, save a different message saying, hey, I'm in trouble. Please send for help. Uh, and we could send these one-way messages uh, from FT8 through that uh, gateway uh, and have it send the SMS uh, message to our target. Now, you can't change these in the field. These are all predefined messages, uh, but you can do all sorts of things with this. Okay, with all of our commands defined, let's go to the main menu. So we're going to go up to preparation, click that. That's where we started. If we scroll to the bottom of the page beyond the instructions, it shows a summary. It shows us all of the regions that we defined, uh, all of the summits that are in those regions. It shows all the frequencies and modes that we defined and all of the frequency steps that we have and the two commands. And if you multiply all that out, that results in a 35,950 possible combinations of every frequency with every summit. And that's what gets encoded into a suffix. Then we go to the configuration page, and you can see that uh, while we're in beta, you need to get uh, administrator permission to turn this on. And once I give that to you, if you come back to this page, it will look like this, where you copy this configuration to the clipboard on the mobile device. Next, we're going to switch to the mobile device and take this configuration uh, and use it in the field. While you are still at home and have internet access, install the Soda Mate application on your mobile device and also an FT8 application, such as the HotPaw FT8 Decoder app. We're going to launch Soda Mate and it gives us a warning saying, hey, nothing's configured here. You can't do anything until you click the Setup tab at the bottom. So we click Setup and we go step by step. We hit step one. It brings us to a web browser and click the little plus sign in the upper left. Click on login and we're going to log in with the account that we used before. Again, remember that the username must be your call sign. We'll type in our password and we have to go through the CAPTCHA garbage, which on a tiny little screen is sometimes hard to find the bicycles. All right, once we've logged in, um, if we go back up and hit the uh, uh, preparation button, you can see that everything that we did on our desktop computer, we can do it on a mobile phone. So if you're in the field and you have internet access before going up a mountain or into, into the back country, uh, you can do the same things we did on a desktop computer on the phone itself in a web browser. All right, the next step, step two, is to go back and go to that configuration page click the copy to clipboard button and in step three we're going to paste what we just copied from the website into the mobile app so we paste it into that text field there you could see all the gobbledygook and down at the bottom it shows you the loaded configuration so it should show our call sign how many regions we defined how many uh, frequency steps we defined and so on and when you multiply out all those possible summits times all those possible frequency steps you get 35,950 combinations. So now we click the spot uh, tab on the bottom 
and we can select one of our predefined regions. We can select one of the summits within that region. There's 281 possible, it's telling us. We pick, uh, pick one of our uh, bands uh, and modes, and now those are the 20 possible frequency steps within that band that we predefined before. The result is that computed FT8 message, which has our call sign and our suffix. And if we click the button, it launches the Hot Paw FT8 decoder app, and it preloads that app with our call sign and a suffix of Delta Yankee Zero. And that Delta Yankee Zero is the encoding of the summit we selected within the region we selected, with the band we selected, with the frequency we selected. That will get transmitted as we're seeing right now. It's transmitting right now over the KX2 radio. And the PSK reporter monitoring stations that are worldwide will hear this FT8 message. It will get relayed to the Soda Mate web server, which will look up in our database and figure out what Delta Yankee Zero for that call sign means. And, and then Soda Mate will spot us. Now here in the Hot Paw app, uh, you can see I turned my uh, iPhone volume up to maximum and I set the Hot Paw app uh, so that its volume uh, output is at 10%, and I have my KX2 uh, input, a uh, mic input level set somewhere around 6 to 10. Um, I just look at the ALC meter to figure out how to set it right so that you only have four ticks on the meter. Uh, and you may need to uh, 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 invert your microphone and headset jacks on the KX2, uh, your cables, because both the KX2 and the iPhone are both trying to be a host. So you need to invert the inputs and outputs to each other in this cable arrangement. And finally, you need to program your radio to be in Vox mode so that when your iPhone sends the FT8 signal, it will transmit from the radio. Uh, and in addition to Vox, you probably have to go into data mode so that you uh, um, have the right bandwidth. And remember to switch back out of Vox mode and out of data mode when you go back to do your uh, single sideband on whatever frequency you spotted yourself on. And that's it. You've self-spotted. And we've got one final trick up our sleeves. Let's exit out of the FT8 app and go back into Sodamate. And this time, click the Message tab at the bottom. And you can see we can select one of our predefined uh, commands, our messages. And this time, we selected the I'm OK message. Uh, and we can click the Launch App button at the bottom there, and it takes us back into our FT8 app. And you can see it's preloaded our call sign with a new suffix this time of Romeo Quebec Kilo. And uh, if we send that, uh, PSK Reporter monitoring stations worldwide will pick up our message. Uh, the Sodamate Gateway uh, will uh, look it up in the database and figure out what that suffix means, and it will then send out a SMS uh, text message as instructed. Of course, it's only one way. Uh, there's no way for anyone to reply to that. Well, that is Sodamate in a nutshell. Uh, I hope to do another video showing the technology uh, behind it, how it all works. Um, there are a couple interesting parts to it. Um, hopefully you find Sodamate useful. Uh, as of the time of this recording, it's still very, very early um, in the beta process. Uh, both Sodamate and the a uh, Hot Paw FT8 app uh, from another author are both in Apple's test flight beta program. So you need an invitation from one of us um, to get the apps. And uh, you've got my email there. Um, or you can go on to the Slack channel for Soda North America um, and message me on there or put it on the Digimodes channel of, uh, of that Slack uh, site. Um, a couple of things as of this video are not quite working yet. Still working to um, connect the SodaMate server into the official Soda Watch, so the spots don't actually go all the way. The entire process you saw works um, up to the last mile of actually putting the spot out. Um, that's not working yet, but I hope to have that working soon. And uh, the same thing, the last mile on the SMS and the email um, outputs um, those don't actually go out. Um, at this point, I'm still uh, trying to gather some beta feedback on all of the front end and middle end processes, make sure it's all working. And at the last minute, we'll wire up uh, the, the last mile. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Alpha Bravo, 6 Delta, 73, and good luck.